What's up guys, thanks for tuning in to another one of my YouTube videos. We just completed the core workout, which I will show right after this. But today's workout mainly was focused on pulling movements and legs. Now, I just started doing core at the beginning of every one of my workouts. And the reason for that is I tend to skip out on it if, if I leave it for the end. Reason being is at that point I'm already taxed and the last thing I want to do is core. So um, I started putting it at the beginning of my workouts. Not only is it a great warm up, but I'm getting in my core workout, which is essential for every movement. If you want to get better at anything, you're going to need a stronger core. So I don't want to skip out on it and I don't want you guys to either. So that's a helpful t tip that has helped me still get my core workouts in. For today's workout, we're gonna do pull and legs. Now I normally split up my routine into two push sessions a week, two pull sessions a week, and two leg sessions a week. Now, a lot of times I do mix in legs with a push or pull, or I work in push and pull together. And the reason for that is I'm always trying to maximize my efficiency when it comes to working out. That way I'm not spending hours upon hours working out. Um, a huge goal of mine is to try to find ways to be able to work out less but gain more so that's one really great tool that I have found that works is instead of resting that 30 seconds to a minute do a different body part so today we're going to be doing a lot of pull-ups and in between that we're going to be doing a lot of squats bridges lunges etc and this will really make the workout length and duration a lot shorter so instead of working out for an hour an hour and a half for both of these um, we might work out in 30 minutes to 40 minutes total so a lot better i'm literally doing less but gaining more and that's what i really want to highlight on this channel so here it is guys thanks for tuning in again if you enjoy this video please smash that like button to uh, support this channel thanks guys Let's go. What's up guys? So today we're gonna do some core work along with our pull up slash leg workout. So first and foremost, I love to start my workouts with core movements because it really helps you warm up. Um, a lot of times I am doing a toast to bar variation so it gets me warmed up for my pull ups which I do pull up workouts twice a week. So it really helps me get warmed up and to, if I leave it, for the end of my workout, I typically try to skip it. So this really ensures that I am doing core, which is super important for every single movement. So here we're gonna start off with toes to bar and we'll do five sets of 10, really slow and controlled.
it's pretty tough guys. I don't know if you guys do toast the bar, but they're not easy. When I'm resting here before my fifth set, I'll show you guys how to progress and a great starting spot to get to eventually be doing toast the bar. So if you can hold yourself up in the dip position, this is a great way. Um, or there's a lot of machines that you can rest your forearms there and your back is against the, the pad and you are just doing knees to as high as you can to go, right? So knees to as high as you can go. And then eventually you do feet and trying to keep your legs as straight as possible. And then eventually you could do holds. So start off with knee holds, okay? And then you could start with leg holds, a lot harder. And those are also called L-sits. Both great, great tools to get you to be doing toes to bar, which is a more advanced, more advanced core workouts. Set five, let's go. Think I can fly, think I can fly when I'm with you. My arms are wide, catching fire as the wind blows. Now we're gonna do some um, L-sit holds in the dip position to really continue to burn out the core here. Set two of this. Let's go. Chase the mountain sun when I'm with you. Give it all the time. Catch it fire as the wind blows. Oh god, I'm shaking so much. That's it for core today. Now into pull-ups and legs, baby.
that's it. Thanks, guys.